الرحمن الرحيم O oh Allah, O oh Allah, O oh Allah, O oh He who responds to the prayer of the distressed, O oh He who relieves the agonies of the agonized, O oh aid of the callers for aid, O oh helper of those who cry for help, O oh He who is nearer to me than my life wane, O oh He who intervenes between man and his heart, O oh, He who is in the highest position and in the clear horizon. O oh, He who is all beneficent and all merciful and is established on the throne. O oh, He who knows the stealthy looks and that which the breasts conceal. O oh, He from whom no secret can remain hidden. O oh, He who is not confused by the many voices that pray to Him. O oh, he whom is not confounded by the many requests that are raised to him. O oh, he who is not annoyed by the insistence of those who entreat him persistently. O oh, he who overtakes every attempt of escape. O oh, reunifier of every scattering thing. O oh, reoriginator of the souls after death. O oh, he who is in a state of every moment. O oh, granter of requests. O oh, reliever of agonies. O oh, conferrer of demands. O oh, bestower of desires. O oh, savior from sufferings. O oh, he who can save from all the things and nothing in the heavens or in the earth can save from him. I beseech, I beseech you in the name, name of Muhammad and the seal of the prophets. Ali, Ali the, the commander of the faithful, faithful. Fatima, Fatima, the daughter of your prophet, prophet. Al-Hasan and Al-Hussein, for I turn my face towards you in their names at this very situation of mine. I make them my means to you. I see their intercession for me with you. I beseech you in the name of your duty towards them. I adjure you and I beg you earnestly in the name of the status that they enjoy with you, the value that they enjoy in your sight. In the name of the thing by which you have preferred them over all the other beings. In the name of your name that you have placed with them and given them exclusively other than all the other things and through which you have distinguished them and demonstrated their distinctive precedence over all the other beings so uniquely that their preference has exceeded all the distinctive features of all the other beings. I beseech you in the name of all that to send blessings upon Muhammad and the household of Muhammad, to relieve me from my distress, grief and agony, to make up for me all my distressing affairs, to help me settle my debts, to safeguard me against poverty, to safeguard me against scarcity, to make me dispense with begging from the Creator beings to spare me from the distress of what I anticipate to distress me, the difficulty of what I anticipate to be difficult for me, the toughness of what I anticipate to be hard for me to deal with, the evil of what I anticipate to be evil, the conspiracy of whom I anticipate to plot conspiracy against me, the tyranny of whom I anticipate to treat me tyrannically, the injustice Justice of whom I anticipate to be unjust to me, the domination of whom I anticipate to dominate me, the trickery of whom I anticipate to trick me, and the authority of whom I anticipate to seize me, and to ward off from me the trickeries of the deceivers and the cunning of the devious. O oh Allah, stand for me against him who intends evil for me, intrigue against him who intends to conspire against me, turn away from me his trickeries, cunning influence and evil desires, and prevent him against me in any way you choose and at any time you choose. Ya Allah, please preoccupy him against me by means of poverty that you never cut down, ordeals that you never recover, neediness that you never stop, ailment that you never heal, humility that you never change into dignity, and destitution that you never cut down. 
Ya Allah, please strike him with humility in the center of his eyes. Interleave poverty to his house. Place ailment and disease in his body so that you will preoccupy him with an engrossing, relentless preoccupation. Make him fail to remember me in the same way as he has failed to remember you. Divert from me his hearing, his sight, his tongue, his hand, his leg, his heart, and all of his other organs. Place in him sickness in all these organs, and do not heal him so that all these sicknesses will preoccupy him relentlessly from me and from mentioning me. And spare me, O Savior, from all that which cannot be spared by anyone other than you. For you are verily the Savior, and there is no Savior other than you. You are verily the Reliever, and there is no Reliever other than you. You are verily the Securer, and there is no Securer other than you. And you are verily the Shelterer, and there is no Shelterer other than you. Disappointed is he whose Shelterer is other than you, whose recourse to anywhere other than you, whose resort is anywhere other than you, whose way out is anywhere other than you, whose haven is anywhere other than you, and whose Savior from any created being is anyone other than you. You are verily my trust, my hope, my resort, my way out, my haven and my Savior. With you do I commence and through you do I seek success. In the name of Muhammad and the household of Muhammad, do I turn my face towards you, seek means to you, and seek intercession to you. So I beseech you, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah. Yours is all praise and yours is all thanks. To you is my complaint and you are the besought for help. So I beseech you, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, in the name of Muhammad and the household of Muhammad, to send blessings upon Muhammad and the household of Muhammad, and to relieve my distress and grief and agony in this situation of mine, in the same way as you have relieved the distress, grief and agony of your Prophet, and saved him from the horrors of his enemy. So please relieve me in the same way as you did to him. Dispel my worries in the same way as you did to him. Save me in the same way as you did to him. Drive away from me the horror of what I anticipate to horrify me. The encumbrance of what I anticipate to overburden me and the distress of what I anticipate to distress me without making me suffer any encumbrance due to all that and make me leave having all my requests granted and having all my distresses relieved including the affairs of this world and the hereafter O Commander of the Faithful Ya Abdullah Peace of Allah be upon you both from me forever as long as I am existent and as long as there are days and nights May Allah not decide this time of my visit to you both to be the last. May Allah never separate me from you both. Ya Allah, please make me live the same lifestyle that Muhammad and his offspring lived. Make me die in the same faith on which they died. Receive my soul while I'm following their religion. Include me with their group and never separate me from them. Not for even a winking of any eye in this world and in the hereafter. O Commander of the Faithful, Ya Abdullah. I have come to you both to visit you, making both of you to be my means to Allah, your and my Lord. Turning you my face to him in your names, and seeking your intercession for me with Allah, all exalted to grant me this request of mine. So intercede for me, since you both enjoy with Allah a praiseworthy position, an admissible status, a lofty standing and a means of nearness to him. I will now leave you both accepting my request to be granted, settled and made successful by Allah on account of your intercession for me with Allah in that. So do not let me down, 
and do not make me leave with disappointment and loss, rather make me leave with achievement, prosperity, success, and response of my prayers by having all my requests granted. And please intercede for me with Allah recurrently. I now leave on whatever is willed by Allah shall come to pass, and there is neither might nor power except with Allah, relegating all my affairs to Allah, referring all my powers to Allah, depending upon Allah, and repeating, Allah is only sufficient to me, and may Allah respond to him who prays to him, other than Allah, and other than you all. O oh, my masters, I have nothing to put my hope in, only that which my Lord wills shall come to pass, and whatever he does not will shall never be. There is neither might nor power except with Allah. I entrust you both with Allah. May Allah never decide this time of my visit to you both to be the last. May I now leave, O oh, my master, O oh, commander of the faithful, and you, O oh, Abdullah, O oh, my master, my greetings to you both are as continuous as night and the day. May my greetings reach you both all the time, and my salutation never be screened from reaching you both, Allah willing. I also beseech him in your names to determine and do that, for he is verily the owner of praise and the owner of glory. I'm now leaving you both, O oh my masters, repenting to and praising Allah and thanking him and hoping him to respond to me. I neither despair nor lose hope, and I intend to come back, return, revisit you both. While I have never desired to leave you or to abandon visiting you, rather I shall return Turn and come back if Allah wills. There is neither might nor power except with Allah. O oh my master, I do desire for both of you and for visiting you. Although the people of this world may abandon you both or abandon visiting you, may Allah never make me fail to attain what I have hoped and desired in visiting you both. Verily, he is all-knowing, all-responding. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad wa ajjil farajahum.